Hey there, welcome back to the Noctis on YouTube. Aircraft manufacturers have invested significant time and funds to test their plane designs. Despite rapid advancements in technology and engineering techniques, extensive and often extreme testing is still required to ensure aircraft safety and performance. Boeing, as one of the largest commercial aircraft producers in the world, is known for its commitment to testing aircraft. The company performs various types of tests, including vertical takeoff tests that push the plane to its limits. During these trials, pilots perform various maneuvers such as sharp turns and descent maneuvers to ensure the aircraft can handle any situation. Airbus, a French aerospace company that manufactures commercial and military aircraft, also conducts rigorous testing. Like the Atlas A400M, a large transport aircraft with a 45-meter wingspan that proves to be very agile even though it is large. This aircraft can take off at an almost vertical angle and perform sharp turns and maneuvers, to get a comprehensive understanding of aircraft capabilities, Airbus and other aircraft manufacturers test their planes in several extreme scenarios, one of which is extreme weather testing. Aircraft have many vital components and systems that are susceptible to extremely cold temperatures, so cold weather testing is essential to gaining approval from the company. Similarly, Hot weather testing is needed to see how different components of the aircraft expand and behave differently in warmer conditions. Air density can also affect how a plane flies and turns. During a negative gravity test, Airbus tested the A330 to see how the aircraft could continue to operate during turbulence when negative gravity occurred over a short period. The speed used during the test can be controlled, whether high or low, resulting in different outcomes. One of the worst possible situations for a passenger plane is losing engine power. To test the reaction of the 7879 Dreamliner in this situation, the Boeing team conducted a series of vertical takeoff tests, including taking off with sudden engine power loss before or after takeoff. The next test is the minimum control speed on the ground test, or VMCG, where pilots maneuver on the runway, and turn off their aircraft engines. Pilots must respond quickly to this condition to prevent the aircraft from veering off the runway. The goal is to ensure that the aircraft can stay safely on the runway without exceeding a 30-degree deviation from the intended flight path. Another high-risk test involves a vertical takeoff where the pilot or ground control decides to abort the plane's takeoff at the last second. During this test, the pilot must also suddenly brake the aircraft while it's moving at speeds over 321 km per hour on the runway. Even in a bad scenario like this, the Boeing 7478 can stop safely. However, when stopping, the plane's wheels overheat, so the tires must be deflated to protect firefighters from a possible explosion. Crosswinds are one of the biggest challenges faced by pilots during aircraft landing. This occurs when the runway configuration and weather conditions force pilots to face perpendicular wind forces during landing. To accomplish this, pilots must use a technique called a crabbed approach. This technique is where the nose of the aircraft slightly veers off the runway center line while the pilot keeps the wings level. At the last moment, the pilot straightens the aircraft with the rudder, allowing it to land along the runway's center line. Airbus faces another issue related to aircraft performance, namely water absorption. When it rains heavily, water can accumulate on the runway and cause large splashes during takeoff. 
Unfortunately, turbine engines on the aircraft can sometimes stall or catch fire when the aircraft absorbs too much water. To avoid this, Airbus engineers designed the engine and undercarriage to divert water around the aircraft body, rather than towards the engines. For this test, a runway was prepared with puddles of water, and the Airbus A350 had to pass through at varying speeds. Using visual recording techniques and sensor data, engineers could analyze how much water was absorbed each time the aircraft crossed the puddles. This is aimed at ensuring that the aircraft engines don't stall or catch fire when absorbing water during takeoff. In the McKinley Weather Laboratory in Florida, the U.S. military built a massive weather control hangar where the temperature can be set anywhere between minus 65 and 165 degrees Fahrenheit. In 2014, the Airbus A350XWB became the first Airbus aircraft to undergo testing in all extreme conditions, including hot and dry, hot and humid, cold and wet environments, as well as rain and snow simulations. This demonstrates the commitment and dedication of aerospace engineers in ensuring that their aircraft can operate in any conditions. Testing and evaluation of aircraft are crucial in the process of manufacturing airplanes. Various tests conducted by aircraft manufacturers like Boeing and Airbus, ranging from extreme weather testing to engine failure scenarios, prove the company's efforts to ensure the safety and performance of their aircraft. Negative gravity testing, aborted takeoffs and landings in crosswind conditions are examples of high-risk testing conducted by pilots and aerospace engineers. The McKinley Weather Laboratory in Florida is an impressive example of corporate efforts to ensure that their manufactured aircraft can continue to operate safely and effectively in extreme conditions. In the world of aviation, the ongoing search for perfection is amazing. Big companies like Boeing and Airbus always put passenger safety first. This means they won't compromise on safety. Science, engineering, and skill are all combined in this industry, showing the best of what we can do. As passengers, we often don't think about how much work goes into making flights safe, but behind every trip, there's a lot of testing and dedication. So the next time you get on a plane, remember all the hard work that went into it. Every part of the plane is made with care and dedication. Have a good flight and stay safe. That wraps up today's video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more awesome videos. Catch you in the next one.